seen, felt and called a brand Hero Honda for 27 years. So to suddenly switch to just a Hero or a Honda is it's not easy. Having said that, uh, again, I think uh, with our uh, campaign, a mere hero, I think that really helped us switch really, really fast. And that was, to my mind, a very good and a very successful campaign. Also, you know, we, we keep doing our studies, as you, as you say, and uh, some years ago when we when we looked at the brands in the market before the separation, long before the separation, Hero Honda, Hero and, and Honda separately, um, we did find that uh, probably Hero standalone had did not have so much of a technological connotation coming from you know bicycle. Hero was Bicycle Hero Honda was yeah. the joint and, mo and mopeds, of course. Yeah. Mopeds for, for some time, yes. Yeah. yes. But now today, when we've gone back and done the state, same study again, we're finding a Hero much stronger brand than we did, let's say, three, four years ago. So which is, which is actually uh, a very promising study for us. Um, all very happy about, about this. People are also, uh, people think of Hero also now as, as technology, not just reliability, durability, and, and familiarity. But I'm saying that there, there has to be a certain uh, transition period when Hero will not have really a product to give out there in the market hmm. because that's the development time that we require so we have the products which we have been selling in the past producing in the past which are Honda technology products and we don't deny that hmm. and you all know that even even the four new products that we launched in the recent past that was Honda technology hmm. they were hero products but Honda technology that was part of our uh, uh, deal with Honda, the new license with Honda. So it is now from this calendar year that we will start coming with Hero products. That's the time we can really go out there in the market and substantiate our claim of our technology, our products. Well, clearly, uh, as a company, clearly we are currently focusing on three big areas. One of course is, is the R&D, uh, developing our own technologies. There's a huge amount of focus there. The other one is the international business. Uh, we just talked about it. And the third one is on the overall costs, bring down the costs in the organization and majorly on the products. So these are the three areas we are currently working on. On, on the market front, um, <coughs> I really don't see any big challenge. There is competition, yes. Our erstwhile partner is now a competitor. There are other players. And we've, we've always had competition. We've enjoyed competition. I think it only makes all of us, not just us, but everyone else, every player uh, more, uh, more alive to the situation and uh, you know keeps us uh, getting more and more innovative with with our uh, marketing ideas with our product ideas with with innovation in uh, in how we sell the products what we do at at the network itself not a very large difference there is a difference not a very large difference the rural customer also is wanting what the, the urban customer gets, not just in the case of motorcycles, I'm sure, and other consumer durables also. Uh, but then the usage itself, the requirement for the rural customer could be slightly different from what the, the city customer needs. 
So from that point of view, the ruggedness, the the load carrying capacities, etc., for the real rural customer are still that that way different. But the market, of course, is evolving. The customers' tastes are changing, but not at a very fast pace. Not like not like the Western countries where you suddenly go into a completely different territory. So the very fact that I uh, you know said in the very beginning it was an amicable separation hmm. and not a split or a break. Hmm. It was done with each other's uh, consent and and a consensus. And it happened on good terms also. Yes, it right? happened on very good terms. Yeah. Happened on very good. I think in the end, for both partners, it's been a good deal. You know, you start you start an organization in early 80s with a certain objective. <laughs> you are a certain size, but over years, the market has changed, the economy has changed, the country's outlook has changed. When we started in '85, we didn't know we were going to become in in such short a span of time the largest producer of two wheelers across the globe. So surely, as a company, we want to become a global player. We want to be able to develop our own technologies in house and not forever be dependent on what we can get from a technology partner where we don't have we don't have complete say and then of course uh, we as a company want to go global there again because the partner is a global player in a joint venture structure does not really permit that mm -hmm. so we did sit down and say well, how can we change some of these things but at the end the consensus was that look there this is going to be difficult this is not possible so okay then fine let's both go our own ways competition in general uh, as I said earlier competition is is now stronger than than before than it used to be um, currently, right now, both uh, Bajaj and Honda are, are uh, strong competitors. But I mean, even uh, even uh, smaller volume players, we we still consider competition as competition and, and look at them um, with a with a lens on a regular basis. Keep seeing what they're doing. You know, some of them are really, really big players who, who could come back to the market.